everybody. I wanted to take some time to show you what you can do to get ready for the big ACT test next week. What you're going to do is on your computer, you're going to go to Finder, Applications, and then scroll down until you find the Test Nav app. This is an application that should have been pushed to your computer. If for some reason it's not there, you can access that through the FTIS self-service or the Bluebird down here on your dock. So I'm gonna open the app. And the first time that you log in, you're gonna to have to choose ACT. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen and select the ACT. And then what you're gonna do is work through the practice test to help you feel more confident and comfortable in the test nav ACT site. So if we click on practice tests, you'll have a choice between any of the big subject areas. I'm just gonna choose English. They're all set up the same way. When you choose English, you're gonna select timed because this is gonna give you an idea of how the timing situation works in the test nav app. So here you'll see that there are some directions. You'll wanna read carefully through those directions and press start. You don't have to add a name. You can just continue as a guest since this is a practice. And then you'll start to see how it will look on test day. So I'm gonna press start. You'll notice that there is a timer that's counting you down for the amount of time you have left. That's how you can kind of keep track of what's going on. Up here as well, under the drop down menu, you can change the background and foreground color to something that you feel is a little bit easier to read. So you might want to take some time before the test to decide which of those work for you. So inside the test, there are some things that may help you when you're taking the test. The first is the answer eliminator. It's the big X at the top of your screen. When that is selected, you can cross off answers that you know are not correct. If you need to remove an X, you just press it again and the X goes away. When you're ready to answer the question, you have to switch back over to the pointer to answer the question. Another tool that's in here that might be helpful to you is the line reader mask. This will allow you to sort of focus on the passage that you're reading line by line. Some people do like that. To turn it off, you just go back up to the person icon and choose hide line reader mask. Okay. And you'll also wanna note that there are scroll bars that you have to use to scroll down through the text. Another tool that might not be obvious is that there is a highlighter tool built into the test nav platform. To access it, all you have to do is start highlighting text and the highlighting options come up. You can use this in both the passage and in your questions, which are above the box, and even in the answers to the right. For any of the reading passages that you get, there will be paragraph numbers listed in the middle in brackets, and that's how you may be referred to a specific area of the text when you're ans answering a question. Next, as you're navigating through the test, you'll notice you'll, you'll be doing that here with these arrows. You could also use the review pane. When you have answered a question, the orange dot next to it goes away. So you'll see here I'm on question four, but I forgot to answer question three. So anything that's been answered does not have a dot next to it. Through the test, a lot of times test takers will get to a question that they're not sure about and they think they might wanna come back to it later. A good way to indicate those questions is to use the bookmark tool. When you've bookmarked a question that you'd like to come back to, under the review pane, it adds a bookmark for you. And at the end of the test, when you're ready to submit, you can see all of those questions on the final answer list. And you can quickly just access that question to review it before you submit all of your final answers. When I'm ready to submit my answers, at the end of the section. There will be a little review button here and it will show me the ones that I have answered. Uh, the ones that I have answered will not have a dot next to them. Ones that I need to still answer, if I missed any, will have the dot next to it. So I can just jump back to that question to answer it. Okay, when I am confident that I've answered all of my questions and I've done the best that I can, I'm just gonna choose submit final answer. When you're finished with that practice, you can press sign out, choose back to sign in, and then you can hop back into other practice tests if you would like to take other practice tests. So I do suggest that you guys hop on here at some point before you take the big ACT and just review and practice getting yourself comfortable with the testing environment.
If you have any questions, be sure to let me know.